This is Carolyn Scott. I'm the Chief Academic Officer at American National University. I know how hard you've worked to get to this point, so I want to offer my sincere congratulations. I couldn't be prouder. Hi, my name is Lindsay Obringer, and I'm the Interim Dean of the Business and Accounting Department at American National University. I wanted to take this time to congratulate all of our 2023 graduates for American National University and the University of Fairfax. You've done it, you've put in the hard work, now it's time to celebrate. Um, I wanna wish you all the best of luck on your personal and professional journeys that you launch forward. Hello, I am Laura Diggle, the Program Chair for the School of Health Sciences, and I wanna wish congratulations to the class of 2023. Well done. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Derek Abwaji and I am the program chair for the pharmacy technician program here at American National University. I would like to congratulate the 2023 graduates of American National University and of course the University of Fairfax. You have come a long way, you deserve this moment, enjoy every bit of it, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations. For all the paralegal graduates, congratulations on your achievement. Hello, my name is Umesh Varma. I'm the president of the University of Fairfax. Congratulations, class of 2023, as you cherish the fruits of your hard work. I wish that success keeps following you. In everything that you do, dream new dreams, embark on who you are, embrace life, with passion and keep reaching for the stars. Shine on and go for it. Be bold, be courageous, and be your best. Hello graduates, congratulations on this special day from your career services team. Hello, my name is Dr. Pete Lamone and I'm with the IT and computer information uh, technology programs. I wanna congratulate each and every one of you for all of your hard work um, and, and reaching this milestone in, in your life. And uh, it, graduating uh, with a degree is something that it's gonna be with you forever. Nothing, it can never be taken away. Uh, so you did it, congratulations, wish you the best of luck. Let us pray. We gather today in celebration and to give thanks, spirit of life, creator, source of boundless compassion. We thank you for this day and for the wisdom to recognize our gifts and serve you with gratitude. Through your gracious spirit, we ask that you bless them with patience as they explore new horizons. Bless them with humility in the face of success and abundance Bless them with compassion for the poor, the sick, and the suffering. Bless them with generosity in the midst of the challenges to come. Bless them with gratitude for friends, mentors, staff, and faculty. And bless us all as we share in the joy of their accomplishments. Amen. Well, to the 2023 graduation for American National University. I'm honored to be here with you today to celebrate this accomplishment with you, your family, and your friends, and to give you your unique recognition on achieving this goal. For well over a century, individuals like yourself have persevered to accomplish this milestone in life. 
and it has not been easy. Each of you have overcome your own hardships. Some of you were still being affected by the pandemic. Some of you have served your country before and during your studies. Many of you held jobs and continued providing for your families through, during your program. All of you sacrificed in some small or large way to be here today. Your dedication to the accomplishment of this goal is deserving of the highest commendation. But let me suggest that seldom in life do we accomplish things by ourselves. You had help, whether you recognize it or not. And I'm not just talking about the faculty and staff of the university who certainly did help you guide you in your studies. While they are to be commended, I'm talking now about so many others who helped you make this day a possibility. Let's think about them and recognize them. Perhaps it was a parent who encouraged you by babysitting your children or providing you other support. Perhaps it is your spouse who gave you time to study while accomplishing the household task. Perhaps it is a grandparent who assisted you, or even maybe an employer who allowed you to adjust your time so you could complete your classroom obligations. Think about them. And when you leave here today, take an opportunity to thank them because of their help for you. On behalf of the entire staff and faculty of the university, I commend you for your achievement today. Take pride in this accomplishment. You are. I look forward to seeing you receive your recognition for this accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you, President Longacre. My name is James Hess. I am the campus director for American National University at the Pikeville, Kentucky location. I have the distinguished honor to introduce this year's guest speaker. But before I do, I'd like to share a quote with you from Arnold Schwarzenegger. He said, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. Just as our students have climbed the ladder of success to reach their goal of graduation, our guest speaker is taking the ladder of success to a new level. He began his business career in 1982 as an automotive merchandising manager with Kmart. From there, he has held many managerial positions that have provided him the wisdom to lead 3,000 plus employees at Pikeville Medical Center. He has won several prestigious awards, such as the City Official of the Year while he was the City Manager for Pikeville in 2010, the Eastern Kentucky Leadership Public Official of the Year in 2011, the Excellence in Leadership Award in 2014, the Southeastern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce Businessman of the Year in 2021. Our guest speaker is not only a great innovator for healthcare in our region, but he is also a close friend. He is the President, CEO, and Chairman of the Board of Directors for Pikeville Medical Center. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a warm welcome for Mr. Donovan Blackburn. Hello, 2023 graduating class of American National University. First and foremost, I want to congratulate each of you for your dedication and perseverance personally and your commitment to further your education. My name is Donovan Blackburn and I am the chairman of the board, president and CEO of Pipo Medical Center, a 348 bed hospital in Eastern Kentucky. Throughout our nearly 100 year history, we have faced obstacles and overcome adversity time after time. That has been our history. And as long as we stay committed, it will be our future. To tell you a little bit about myself, I'm a third generation Pike County Kentuckian. I was raised in the same region I live in today, a rural community in Southern Appalachia that has always been more focused on our future than our past. As a young man, I went to work in the retail industry and worked my way up into various management positions. In 2004, I transitioned from the private sector to government, accepting an offer to be the city manager for Pikeville, Kentucky. During my 13 years in that position, Pikeville experienced tremendous growth and was established as one of the most progressive rural communities in Kentucky and the most successful community in Eastern Kentucky. The growth Pikeville saw during my tenure as city manager is unprecedented. I say all this to you to emphasize a statement I'm sure you've heard more than once. You do not have to leave the community you were raised in to be successful in life. What you do need is dedication and a vision that goes much deeper than the amount of your paycheck. 
Throughout my career, I have served and have held various leadership roles in community, nonprofit, and government organizations to ensure that my community and the business I represent have a voice. Each of you is standing at a crossroad today where your life is getting ready to transition. You have spent this time at ANU gaining valuable knowledge that has equipped you to either begin a new career or advance the one you already chose. But I hope you have also learned about yourself and discovered a hunger within you. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters when compared to what lies within us. Let that sink in for a moment. At this point in your life, your past is behind you. It's your passion, your drive, and your character. There are the factors that will truly determine your future and the legacy you will leave behind. For me, both personally and professionally, I need to know I am making contributions that are making a difference in the lives of my family, friends, and my community. I was able to do that to a point in my role as city manager. But once I transitioned into the healthcare sector, I realized that God had placed me in a position to lead an organization that possesses the ability to improve the health of an entire region. I am truly blessed and place an enormous value on my relationship with God, my family, and my community. At heart, I'm a simple man, but I am driven to be successful and to be an example for my family, my business, and the region we live in. In 2018, I was named president and CEO of Pipeline Medical Center. That same year, my two-year-old granddaughter was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Looking back, I can see that was all part of God's plan, not just for my family, but for hundreds of other families in Eastern Kentucky. When Ava received her diagnosis, we were told she needed a type of specialized therapy not found in our region, and that our family should plan to relocate more than two hours away. That was a huge wake-up call for our family, and it lit a fire under me as president and CEO of Pipeline Medical Center. Uprooting our family was not going to be an option. And I made a vow that it wouldn't be an option for other families who found themselves facing an autism diagnosis. For too long, Eastern Kentucky families were told the quality pediatric care was only available in larger cities. I was determined to create a new reality where families look to our community for the care their children need. Fast forward to today, where Pikeville Medical Center now features the nation's single largest autism center for children that offers ABA therapy. The Appalachian Valley Autism Center, or AVA Center, bears the name of my granddaughter, who is the light of my life and was her Pop Pop's inspiration. Since opening in 2020, the AVA Center has already expanded into two campuses with nearly 100 kids who we call learners in our two centers. In our ongoing expansion plans, we expect to have nearly 200 learners by the end of 2023. Can we rest now that we have experienced our initial success? No. Once the word began to spread of our autism center in Eastern Kentucky, families who have otherwise given up hope began calling. We now have nearly 600 children on our waiting list. 2021 saw the opening of the Metu Children's Hospital, the only children's hospital in Eastern Kentucky. This was another monumental step for our hospital as our administration worked to fulfill our promise to improve the level of pediatric care we offer. Great things are possible if you are willing to work to turn your dreams into reality. My dreams for improving the level of health care offered to my community has been broadened beyond pediatric care. Pikeville Medical Center has in recent years tremendously improved the level of heart and cancer care we offer and has added many medical specialties not offered anywhere else in the region. I am proud to say that the contributions of the administration I have been entrusted to lead has resulted in PMC becoming the only hospital in the state offering the same level of services and educational opportunities as the University of Kentucky and the University of Louisville Medical Centers. Words truly cannot express the magnitude of this accomplishment for our hospital and the region we serve. The decisions we have made and the hard work that has followed have resulted in more Eastern Kentuckians being able to stay close to home for their health care needs than ever before. Today, you are celebrating your accomplishments and taking a few minutes to look back at your time spent at American National University. Like me, 
you are reflecting on the challenges that have been presented to you and how you approach them. Take this time to congratulate yourselves and each other. In this fast-paced and ever-changing world we live in, today, celebrations are short-lived. I challenge you to embrace the moments ahead of you when you will be presented with problems in need of solutions. Before the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the healthcare industry was already dealing with a shortage of nurses and bracing for an aging nursing population to begin choosing retirement. Little did we know that this new virus was about to pour gasoline onto the fire. Travel opportunities became a very lucrative option that lured nurses and other healthcare professionals away from their home facilities. The retirements that should have been years away came quicker than expected. Many hospitals across the country had to close because of the shortage that this created. Instead of trying to find a solution for the present, I decided to take an approach centered around creating a future that would eliminate the threat of this happening again. It was this thinking that created Project Heart, an initiative that is now being used as a model, not just across this state, but by hospitals across the country. Heart stands for the healthcare employment around regional training and is an innovative and collaborative effort between Pipewell Medical Center and government agencies nonprofit organizations, colleges, and universities in our region. Project Heart permits both traditional and non-traditional students in our region to have the opportunity to attend a technical school, college, and or university to receive the necessary training and education to enter the workforce in healthcare. In many cases, students needing a financial boost are provided the funds to assist with paying education-related costs. When we launched Project Heart, there were only 65 nursing school seats in Pikeville, which was not producing the number of new nurses our community needed. I refused to accept this reality. After many meetings with our governor and other state leaders, bills were introduced, passed, and signed into law, creating nearly 320 nursing seats in Pikeville's various nursing programs. This Project Heart Initiative is now in its second year of training a skilled local workforce to address challenges. It has been so successful that Kentucky Hospital Association is utilizing our template to educate hospitals in the rest of the state. Throughout my 40 plus years in management roles throughout Eastern Kentucky, I have never bowed down to a challenge or admitted defeat. We may live in a rural area that doesn't have a large skilled population of healthcare workers to draw from, but that does not define the boundaries of our limitations. In fact, I allow that to challenge me and fuel my desire to be the catalyst for change in my community. I have always been driven to build a better today and create a better tomorrow. And my hope today is to inspire that in each of you. Congratulations again. And it is my sincere prayer that you find success in the next chapters of your life. Remember, it is what lies within you that truly determines your future. Hello. I am Dr. Amesh Verma, the president of the University of Fairfax. First, I would like to take this opportunity to provide you a brief history of the University of Fairfax, and then present the University of Fairfax graduates. The University of Fairfax was established in 2002 in response to the events of 9-11 and in support of the federal efforts to increase the nation's cybersecurity by providing high quality doctoral, master's, and graduate certificate programs for adult learners. Since then, the University of Fairfax has expanded its programs to better cater to the needs of the business community. Here, you secure your future and advance your career as you learn through distance education and hybrid programs 
at the University of Fairfax. E-learning is convenient for professionals who need to be mobile and responsive in a demanding and fast paced fields, such as information assurance, cybersecurity intelligence, cloud security, risk management, information technology governance, information compliance management, and advanced research in technical and behavioral cybersecurity, business, and computer science and engineering. I'm honored to present the University of Fairfax faculty who will present the candidates for graduation. The following students have completed all the requirements for graduation and upon recommendation from the faculty are hereby presented for awarding their degrees and diplomas. Adubai Abayomi Adisa, Master of Science in Cybersecurity Management. Anil Dandamudi, Master of Science in Cybersecurity Management. Emmanuel Raju Paul Parker, Master of Science in Cybersecurity Management. Randy Dean Rene, Master of Science in Cyber Security Management. Dr. Regina D. Bumper, Doctorate of Business Administration. Laura Agley, Master of Business Administration. Andrew J. Shireen, Master of Business Administration. Dr. Tracy Thompson, Doctorate of Business Administration. Dr. Christy Cross, Doctorate in Information Assurance. Dr. Albertina Hurst Bernane, Doctorate in Information Assurance. Dr. Ali Ra, Doctorate in Information Assurance. Dr. James D. Sanger, Doctorate in Information Assurance. Dr. Tammy M. Washington, Doctorate in Information Assurance. Dr. Bruce Young, Doctorate in Information Assurance. Kishore Kumar Reddy Chinna Wobayagri, Master of Computer Science and Engineering. Durga Ashish Dusharla, Master of Computer Science and Engineering. Congratulations, graduates. Now, I introduce Mr. Sean Hershey, Vice President 
for academic affairs for the presentation of awards and honor society recipients. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Varma. My name is Sean Hershey, Vice President of Academic Affairs for American National University. At this time, we would like to recognize several outstanding members of the class of 2022 and 2023. Each student has achieved excellence in a specific area through hard work and dedication. Please allow me to present the Achievement Award. The Achievement Award is presented to graduates who, through extraordinary effort, overcame obstacles to succeed in their studies and reach their academic goals. This award honors a diploma or degree graduate whose successful academic work deserves recognition. Please join me in congratulating Tiffany Briner of the Paralegal Certificate Program, Vicki Garcia, Associate of Science and Health Information Management Program, Shalina Nagaraj, Master of Business Administration Management Program, and Tiona Tillman, Associates of Applied Science and Business Management Program. Congratulations. The next award I'm presenting is the Leadership Award. The Leadership Award is presented to a graduate who, above all else, has exhibited excellent leadership, organizational, and motivational abilities, and who personifies the highest level of leadership among the graduates. This award may be presented to the outstanding graduate who has maintained a 3.0 or higher GPA in addition to the qualities previously mentioned. Please join me in congratulating James Ahern in her Paralegal Certificate Program, Raina Powell, Associates of Applied Science Business Management Program, and Matthew Culpepper, Associates of Applied Science and Business Management Program. Congratulations. The next award is the EM Coulter Award. Presented in honor of EM Coulter, who served as president of National College, a predecessor of ANU, from 1901 to 1946, and as a president emeritus from 1946 to 1956. Starting as an instructor in 1896, President Coulter's association with the college is the longest association of any individual with any college in the United States. Presented for high academic achievement, to graduates of nursing, health information management, medical assisting, medical billing and coding, pharmacy technician, and phlebotomy programs. Please join me in congratulating Rhonda Blankenship, Associates of Science and Pharmacy Technician Program. Congratulations. Our next award is the Dorothy Coulter Hancock Award, presented in honor of Dorothy Coulter Hancock, who served National College, a predecessor of ANU, for more than 20 years as an instructor, faculty advisor, vice president, and a member of the Board of Advisors. Presented for high academic achievement in a bachelor's degree program in accounting, management, medical and health services management, and master of business administration programs. Please join me in congratulating Stacy L. Palmer, medical billing and coding Diploma Program. Amber McKinney in our Master of Business Administration Management Program. And Matthew Whitford, Master of Business Administration Management Program. Congratulations. Our next award is the Joseph E. Hearn Award. Presented in honor of Joseph E. Hearn, who served as president of National College, a predecessor of ANU, from 1962 to 1984. Presented for high academic achievement to graduates of academic, business administration, business administration accounting, and business administration management. Please join me in congratulating Jose Castillo Hernandez, Master of Business Administration Management Program. Congratulations. Our next award is the M.A. Smith Award. Presented in honor of M.A. Smith, who served as Vice President of National College, 
the predecessor of ANU, from 1918 to 1946, and as president from 1946 to 1951. Presented for high academic achievement to graduates of information technology, cybersecurity, network administration, and network support programs. Please join me in congratulating Nathaniel Butler and our Associates of Science Network Support Program, and Tony M. Stark and our Associates of Science and Network Support Program. Congratulations. For our final award, Mary P. McGurn Award. This award is presented in honor of Mary P. McGurn, who served as an instructor and department chairperson at National College from 1901 to 1951. Presented for high academic achievement to graduates of paralegal, paralegal studies, and medical office professionals programs. Please join me in congratulating Matthew Linus and our paralegal certificate program. Congratulations. Thank you all. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. Now over to Dr. Joel Musgrove. Thank you, Mr. Hershey. It is my honor and it is my privilege today to present to you all this year's recipient of the Alumni Hall of Achievement Award. Before doing so, let me shed a little bit of light on what this award means and how one can achieve it. Founded in 1987, the Alumni Hall of Achievement Award honors those who have excelled in their career and service to the community since graduation. Induction into the Alumnus Hall of Achievement is the most distinguished award bestowed upon our alumnus. This year's Alumni Hall of Achievement Award recipient is David Simmons. Today, we're here to celebrate the outstanding accomplishments of David Simmons, a true inspiration to us all. American National University takes great pride in acknowledging David as this year's Alumni Hall of Achievement Award recipient for his exceptional service to his community and remarkable success that he's had in his career. We look forward to seeing all the wonderful things you're gonna to continue to do. David's journey began back in 2012 when he earned his bachelor's degree in business administration management from American National University. His pursuit of higher education was driven by his desire to become a more effective leader in his management role at Barney Incorporated. During his time at American National University, David honed his skills to technology, accounting, and business relations. Sound familiar to any of the other graduates here today? These invaluable skills gave David the tools he needed to succeed and move into his position as division manager, where he oversees projects, managers, and electricians in industrial electrical work and reports directly to the Chief Operations Officer at Barney Incorporated. David's remarkable success speaks to the aspirations of many hardworking individuals who start from entry-level positions and rise to the top. His education not only allowed him to move into a higher position, but it also inspired a new generation of Barney workers. For instance, Matthew Cole. One of this year's graduates joined our Business Administration Management Associates degree by David's example. Both David and Matthew were supported by their company through the Business Partnership Grant to better themselves and their career through education. David's commitment and hard work have earned him the Distinguished Alumni Hall of Achievement Award. He is a true testament to the power of education and hard work. We are proud to have him as part of our alumnus and proud to recognize him for his exceptional achievements. Please join me in congratulating David Simmons on his remarkable accomplishments. Congratulations. At this time, we would like to take a moment to recognize Delta Epsilon Tau Honors Society graduates. Distance education, it provides convenience. It provides cost effectiveness, way to enhance one's knowledge and skills. 
We know this. Through distance education, students gain a sense of accomplishment and development uh, in, into their essential character traits, such as self-discipline, perseverance, which can lead to a more fulfilling personal and professional life. To recognize the excellence of distance education students, the Distance Education Accrediting Commission Board of Trustees collaborated with Christopher Davis, president of Alpha Beta Kappa National Honor Society, established the Delta Epsilon Tau International Honor Society on April 6, 1997. This prestigious honor society publicly acknowledges the value of distance education as a viable and effective educational option. And putting it best, as Leah Matthews, the executive director of DEAC, notes, the creation of this international honor society is a testament to the hard work, dedication of distance education and learning students and instructors alike. By awarding a chapter of Delta Epsilon Tau Honor Society, an institution gains a mark of distinction, demonstrating its commitment to providing quality distance education. To quality for a chapter, institutions must be credited by Distance Education Accrediting Commission. Overall, the Delta Epsilon Tau Honor Society is highly respected honor society that recognizes the academic achievement of distance learning students and encourages the growth and development of distance education as a viable education option. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients. Thank you, Dr. Musgrove. Guests, faculty members, and proud families, it is with great honor that I present the candidates for graduation. These exceptional individuals whose names are displayed before you have successfully fulfilled all the requirements for graduation and upon recommendation of the faculty are presented for the awarding of their degrees and diplomas. It is my privilege to introduce the academic leaders who have guided and shaped their paths. These individuals have not only excelled in their respective fields, but have also exemplified remarkable leadership as deans and department chairs. Please join me in welcoming our academic department leaders as they usher in our graduates. They are Dr. Lindsay Obringer, Dean of Business and Accounting Programs, Laura Diggle, Chair of our Allied Health Science Programs, Dr. Derek Abouage, Dean of Pharmacy Technician Programs, Wendy Notes, Dean of the Paralegal Programs, Dr. Marie Bernard Lazar, Dean of the Callista School of Nursing, Dr. Peter Moon, Dean of Information Technology, and Patty Vanderhoff, Chair of Health Information Management and Medical Billing and Coding Programs. Academic leaders, thank you all for your service to our students. President Longacre, we present to you the classes of 2022 and 2023, University of Fairfax and American National University.
Will the candidates for graduation please rise? This is the part you've been waiting on, I know. While you have been at American National University, you have developed intellectually, culturally, and socially. We now know you have the educational background, fortitude, and knowledge to reinforce and aid you in your chosen career. Use that background and continue the ideals you have learned to further support and build up the communities each of you have and will impact around the globe. And now, by the university's heritage of 136 years, each of you, having successfully completed your prescribed course of study and upon the recommendation of the staff and faculty, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and by the State Council for Higher Education in Virginia, I now pronounce you graduates of American National University, and I congratulate you. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Today marks a significant milestone in your academic journey, and I am honored to be a part of this special moment in your life. You have worked hard, overcome challenges, and proven your resilience and determination. You should be proud of yourself for accomplishing this great achievement. As you embark on the next chapter of your life, remember to keep learning, growing, and pursuing your dream. May your future be filled with success, happiness, and fulfillment. Once again, congratulations to you and your family on this memorable occasion. The link to this graduation will be made available on the university's web pages, as well as our social media pages. Thank you.